Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Sunday Chat. Today I wanted to talk to you about listening to your body. <laughs> Most of you have a pretty good idea of who I am. I'm somebody that gets a lot done, I'm very type A, and I power through. And I have been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. There's no negotiating when your body wants you to stop and listen. It makes it heard until you listen. And I have had to learn to listen to my body lately, and I wanted to talk to you about that and encourage you from somebody who is a type A personality, from somebody who is not used to having to listen to their body and just powers through and gets done what I need to do and I can stop later, how this has been a big mind shift for me, and yet it has been good. And I believe everything happens for a reason, and that's why I wanted to share this. There are days when I have energy and I appreciate them and they are amazing and like today it's fabulous and there are days where I'm down for the count and I have learned to appreciate those days I curl up with a book I have a cup of tea on the couch and I don't move pretty much all day the challenge is you don't get to pick when those days come they tell you and yet being open to listening and knowing that you have, for me, a treat when I can't do what I want. I look forward to my books. I look forward to catching up on sleep. I just look forward to being quiet. And I think that I've learned I'm not as important as I think I am and everything will be there tomorrow. It's funny how we just feel that we have to do it all and you don't and it's more important to listen to your body and you'll feel better for it and not only am I talking to people like me who have a health issue that they're dealing with but say you wake up and you just had a lousy sleep if you try to power through and go to the gym and do a million things chances are you aren't going to get very much done and it's certainly not going to be as good as if you left it all for the next day and rearranged your schedule and just cocooned that day. So no matter what is going on, I would like to challenge you, listen to your body and be loving and patient with yourself. Take advantage of the great days and know that the quieter days are there for a reason and try to enjoy those. I really hope that this was helpful. And like I said, this is a great day for me. So I am gonna go for a bike ride. <laughs> I hope that you are having a really good day. And for all of those many wonderful people who've told me that you're suffering from similar things to me, some type of autoimmune, I wish you more good days than bad. Because I think that that is the key. And knowing how to balance those out when you do have the bad is also good. So I hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you next time.